Hello everyone. Um, as you can see, I got lights on it. I've never done that before. Well, I did. Like, 40 years ago. Anyway. I uh, pointed out to Pete at, um, that I had both seats striped on the same side. That ain't what I wanted. So I had to go repaint one. Um, so the seats are one's on the left and one's on the right. Yeah. Yeah, I make mistakes. Not many. <laughs> oh, you'll see in this film, I made many a mistake. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to hook the seat belts up on this, so I'm uh, done with the body so much. I got to put the rear arrow on yet yeah, because I took it off when I repainted it. Um, it just needed cleaned up because the purple power didn't get everything, so I just snapped them off and soaked them and cleaned them up so they'd be smoother instead of just trying to get by with something. Anyway, I'm painting the sides aluminum. Yay. Um, this, uh, it's Vallejo aluminum, which is quite crappy in fact. But if you do it right, you can get it to look like aluminum. Now, did I do it right? Unknown. Now, what you can't see here, that's the motor. Notice everything's sharp focus, but I got it too close to the camera. Sorry. What I'm doing is using liquid glue and a stippling to make sand casting effect. And I also drilled out a little bit on the uh, soft plugs. So those will be silver. Um, at least when I rebuilt an old 327 way back in high school that... Um, we painted it orange and then the soft plugs went in afterwards so yep right here I'm doing the lights I'm cleaning an LED cheap thing like a dollar something at the dollar store um, this was an experiment I I painted made sure I got one side of the wire I took a marker and marked it black and put a flag of black tape so I don't get the side wrong. Now I'm using some brass tubing and crimping it. Now this was a process that I finally learned how to do it and after I did that it worked great. I tried annealing it. It works great but you have to kneel it after the fact. A little hard to hold on to. I keep my car uh, bundled up in paper towel that's why you see all the paper things on the front of the car I would put it in the box but you never know what happened to that crap anyway I'm cleaning the plastic coating off later on I found out if I just took my torch and burned it off it worked great the candle whatever you got so I've got to shorten it up so it will make it from the clearance light park brake or blinker light to the blue light that's under the um, under the pop-up lights I was going to do pop-up lights these things I need to get I need to go full-blown LED with it and I just didn't want to order the crap I don't know nothing about it I'm too old to learn quickly <laughs> so I went with this and just glued the lights down so they don't pop up anymore sorry I was a bit disappointed in myself what I'm doing here is smashing it down is um, I don't want it to move later on I really realized that when I was stripping the plastic off um, it was actually copper wire. I could have probably soldered it, but yeah. Then to make sure that none of the contacts are making contact, I painted them all with black paint, except for the 
the LEDs are clear and I used a um, transparent blue paint from Kytex works really good I decided to use something heavier to smash them that really worked I got two of them I still got the other side to do oh they work who knew here I'm uh, the spokes on the steering wheel have a slot in it so I'm thin the back of it down and then I'm using this uh, all type thing to get a hole thin enough to where I can stick my hobby knife through to make the slits visible. I used um, obviously my marker to mark it so I could see what I was doing and I overmarked it and covered up the hole. <laughs> so I was flying blind there for a while. I wood grained the um, steering wheel and the shift and lever knob I used um, Vallejo's uh, dark uh, what's it called ochre and then I went over it with some burnt umber acrylic paint um, I actually have burnt umber and oil which would might look a little richer but I I went with this because I used it quite a bit on World War One aircraft. On uh, because they're mostly made; they're all made of wood almost. And I've done a lot of wood graining with it, so I didn't want to go heavy-handed on the wood graining. Right there, you you don't really see it. Uh, blinker light lever. I had to make that. The other one snapped off. I made it out of a piece of sprue or a piece of um, flat stock and then cut it out right now I'm making the brake the emergency brake handle the other one was really short you know it didn't look right so anyway I'm making a new one once I get this stupid thing cut out there we are now I made the cut you didn't see that but when I pushed down I was making a stop mark to and I just scraped it thinner so it fit in the slot and I took a file to it to even it out then I put um, hand grips on it that, that's wood that's gonna be wood drained And the rest of the body is black. Sorry, it took me so long to get a video out. Um, my wife's car was acting up, and I had to change the air filter, clean the ma um, mass airflow sensor, and spray the throttle body still acting up but it's working better um, I think I'm gonna have to spray the throttle body again um, then my truck which I haven't drove for two months I uh, had to drop the uh, transfer case out of it because the uh, adapter housing on the 4L ADE decided to split in two and uh, I had to drop that down and get that all ready, get the parts ordered. So this gave me some time today to work on some stuff. The steering wheel's been done for a while, but sorry it's blurry, guys. It's just you think you got it in focus, and then like right now, not very good. But it is right there. Ain't that funny? Um, that's the shifting lever knob. Uh, now I'm painting the steering column column, column, whatever you want to call it and I do the handle in black and the little lever the, the metal part of the lever is uh, silver or metallic 
You know, I thought I showed me, well, I would grain the, uh, I'll have to get a close-up of that so you guys can see it, of the steering wheel and that. It turned out what I considered nice. Of course, that ain't asking much. Um, right now I'm painting the spoke silver. Then when the silver dries, I also do the center hub in black to match the colling. The, and um, then I give it all a wash to bring out detail. Um, a mixture of India ink, a lot of water, and some um, acrylic burnt umber to give it a brown. But it's very, very faint, so it can take several washes. So one wash on the car like this is fairly decent. Now I'm working on the instruments. Notice the flickering. What the hell is going on? Oh, I was washing clothes. I was wondering, you're going to see, I'm uh, cleaning this old piece of uh, clear plastic that's actually vacuum formable. Um, the brand is Squadron. I don't, they're not around anymore. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. I laughed. Even when I seen it, I laughed. I thought it was so funny. Because I'm like, Notice how dirty my fingers are. I've washed and washed, even washed my hair. Still got grease under my nails. I cut them back. I was trying to get stuff done. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the big egg. You're, that's right, you're fibbing if it never happened. Right now, I'm cutting out two sheets that's for the instrument panel one is for the glazing and the other one will be where the decals go that come with the, the kit so there will be glass and then decal and I also made uh, which you won't see because it's still on my camera uh, I made needles for the instruments um, to kind of give it depth instead of a decal look I'm thinking it turned out all right. Anyway, right now I'm just trying to get the first one to fit. And I gotta learn to. I'm so worried you ain't gonna see anything, I get the back of my knuckle all the time. No, I'm just cleaning it up. I noticed there was some uh, irregularities. So it fit in there. I squared the edges up instead of it. Now I'm putting on the decal. I have the glass taped in. And I'm right when I got done putting that in there, my my card was full. So I had to I emptied the card. I had to go empty the card. And I finished it because I already had the decals uh, damp so you don't get to see all of it big deal thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you want to see more <coughs> comment if you have questions or you like what you see thank you thanks for watching